our brains contain 27 different emotions and on a daily basis we go through 6 out of the 27 emotions that we have. But what if your surroundings could change your emotions? Um, look at the board. What do you feel? Excited? Jealous? Anger? What about the next colour? Do you feel jealousy? Coco Chanel said, in order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. Remember, from the start, I asked you to identify the colour red. Adults were most likely to say romance, while children were most likely to associate red with the colour anger. Oh, associate red with anger. Lots of young children have never experienced love in their life, unlike adults. Colour is produced by different strands of light being reflected upon ob objects. You must, for us to see colour, light must be reflected onto the object, and while other objects absor absorb the colour, we see the colour that is reflected in. Our rainbow consists of seven different colours, but by adding and mixing all seven different colours in, in as many combinations as you think of, we have 10 million different types of colours. So how does colour affect our everyday life? Colour psychology is the meaning of study of colour and how it affects our emotions. When we look at different colours, different psych psychological triggers are um, impacted our brains. For instance, in a room, in an office, in a room with walls painted with gold and brown, it helps um, it makes us feel more. Um, it makes us feel more warmer. While rooms painted with colors light blue or white makes people feel cooler. Even though there's no temperature change from the colors, the perception of the color changes changes the individual's experiences. Color psychology is it's our place and environment and impacts our emotions and state of mind. Color can affect us in our daily lives from places that make us feel negative to places that allow us to feel more productive and better for our own health. Colour psychology can be used in everyday life, like repainting one's room to a product brand, brand designing. Warmer colours like red and yellow and orange allows us for our body to be stimulated and makes our brains concentrate more because it creates a rise in their blood making us feel tenser. Compared to other stimulating colours like purple or dark blue, which can distract workers and make them feel bored. Colours, according to psychology, surveys show that 20% of adults, which is 57 million people in the world, receive mental health treatment or mental disorder treatment. But what if colour therapy is the new innovation? Colour therapy is a hol holistic and innovative treatment. It's believed that colour can bring um, health and balance to our body. Colours are made from reflective light. And when our, light, and when our eyes re hit the reflective light, it, um, wavelengths start to vibrate our eyes. Our brain tries to comprehend the vibrations, which makes the perception of colour a physical and emotional experience. Colour therapy is mainly based on the sensory triggers which can stimulate and smooth your body. Colour therapy is used to treat emotional and physical problems. Practitioners use the exposure of light by massaging bodies with colour saturated oils and visualising and understanding colours. Each seven different colours create a different and physical emotional state. During hard times like right now, if you're stressed or something is bugging you right now, walk outside and open your eyes away from your phone. Look at your surroundings and you will probably, and you would probably feel the different emotions and the colours that affect in, you would have inside you or surround yourself with colours that you like.